Well, Matt, it's a busy month coming up, so I guess this week, quite happy not to have had a, a midweek game to, to worry about after the Scunthorpe win last Saturday. Yep, uh, exactly that. It's, uh, we had a busy period, uh, but it's nice to be able, able to have the two Tuesdays off uh, with that, obviously, Scunthorpe game last weekend. Uh, good to be back at home and, and, a, and a nice, good win. But, yeah, the month of March is certainly a, a busy and tough period, so it's... Uh, it's been nice to have a, a bit of a downtime, really, really for, for the busy run ahead. You spoke after the Scunthorpe game, obviously pleased, pleased with the win. Any any reflections on it further, sort of further down the line now? No, the most important thing, like you say, you can, like I said to you, I think after the game, you can fluff steps up in your favour or, or not so. Um, and we hadn't won in five, four draws and, and one defeat. I felt all of those draws could have maybe tilted our, in our favour, but didn't. Uh, and that's just the, the way it goes sometimes. Uh, but then suddenly you, you bounce back with a win against Scunthorpe was the most important thing to do. And now, you know, you've lost one in 15. So you suddenly you can spin a stat round to, in your favour. So, you know, we're, we're, just, um, we're just concentrating on that Scunthorpe game and looking to get that, that three points and be strong and dominant at home again like we have been. And we were uh, after a bit of a bitty 20, 25 minutes. Uh, once we got that goal, we, we really kicked on and, and took our chances. We were ruthless in the final third and and obviously deserved to get the win. So, uh, no, we, we were pleased to do that. Then we're, then we're into this week and, and a couple of few, well, a few training sessions, uh, as I say, leading into a tough game against Rush, Rochdale and a, and a busy and a tough month coming up. And some really good team goals in that game as well. We, we, we touched on it after the, after the game, but sort of certainly, obviously, one penalty, but three of the four goals, excellent excellent team moves with, with decent finishes. Yeah, yeah. As, as I've said to you before, probably what we don't maybe get credit for because uh, we are strong at set pieces and, and a real threat um, with our physicality we probably only get labelled that um, but I think there's many strings to our bow and, uh, and I think we're going to improve that again on, on last Saturday and, and the, the different types of goals we can score and the different goal threats we've got from all over the pitch so uh, it's nice uh, but you're certainly recognising it Tony and on, t on Tuesday night we didn't have a game are you the sort of manager that watches the television see how, sees how the other games are going or do you, do you tend to sort of let it take care of itself yeah, no, no, I actually had a meeting with Bruce and Aid on Tuesday and we, we were keeping an eye on, on the uh, on the results coming in. Of, of course you do, you, you naturally look at the results, but we can't control those. You, you look to see how other teams are getting on, you look to see the league table, I'm not going to lie about that. But as I said to you last week, we, we don't focus on anything, we can't control what's going on elsewhere. Uh, all we can control on is preparing and, and getting the job done and hopefully getting another three points tomorrow against Rochdale. Yeah, we come on to Rochdale on our side that um, had one of those last minute setbacks um, when we were up there in October and generally, generally it wasn't such a Jason every week it wasn't probably our most successful away trip of the season all things all things being told so um, it'd be nice to to make up make up for that game tomorrow. Yeah I didn't feel um, well, all round really we've changed how we prepare for games we had one, one of the worst worst journeys I've ever had in football traveling up on the Friday certainly no excuse I'm not saying that's that's the reason for the result but um, we do things differently now in terms of how we travel up and we've learned from that day and since then Touchwood we've, we've, uh, our preparation for the, the long northern trips have, have been excellent um, leading into I think made a few mistakes on, on my behalf and, and I don't think we were at the races and I thought it was a poor first half performance up there um, didn't help with, with Richie Bennett unfortunately getting sent off on stroke at half time um, but a, a really uh, solid and um, great team performance in the second half with 10 men and, and just shows exactly what we're, we're uh, like in adversity to come back and show great character and um, fight our way back into the game uh, and then to get the equaliser so late on and think you've, you've earned a great point uh, to get done with a, a last kick of the game and, and a great strike from midfield was, uh, was one of those which we've had a few this season one of those really ones hard ones to take it was down there with down there with Newport. I think is probably the, the the most deflating after after a game. Um, but Rochdale, the, the, that three two win over us, they've made a habit of getting decent results against good sides this season. So certainly not not one to be underestimated, despite the league league position. Yeah, it, it's, well, it's, well, as you say, there's no easy games in this league. Where you're the top club or you're the bottom club, it's such a thin dividing line for me um, between the top and, and the bottom. Um, so Rochdale sitting in the bottom half but it'll be an extremely tough game tomorrow they've got some good players and they've certainly got some threats going forward we'll have to make sure we're right on that um, but we also think we can hurt them with, with some of the, uh, the players that we've got um, it's, it, as I say it'll be a, a tough game 
but one we're looking forward to and, and hopefully we can keep our, our good run that we've been going on. And, and as you say, they've, they'd probably be a little bit disappointed with their results against the teams in the bottom half, but their record against some of the top teams is, is, is excellent. So uh, we know we're in for a real tough game tomorrow. And as, as there are going to be tomorrow, uh, sort of this season, tomorrow, a couple of sort of some games to keep an eye on where sides around us in the table are playing each other. So even, even more important than we could possibly pick up the three points and take advantage of the fact that both sides can't win in those games. Yeah, I, I totally see your logic, Tony, and, and you're not wrong. You, you, you're spot on, right, and, and exactly that. But uh, we've got a little points total that we feel we, we can uh, try and secure first and foremost uh, that hopefully will guarantee us playoffs. Um, so we're on 54 points um, right now with 13 games to go, and we'll be hopefully looking to try and put another three towards that target um, tomorrow come three o'clock. And on the, on the team front, we've had a, a blank week to give players a chance to get back. I spoke to Richie Bennett yesterday and he's, he seems to think his wrist was on the, on the men now. So um, did, did he come, come back into contention? Yeah, Richie's fit. He's trained all week. He, he's ready to go and he'll be in the squad tomorrow. Um, we've recalled Killing Kwesi from, from Chesham as well, just with um, the amount of games that we've got coming up in this month. He's gone, on, he's gone to Chesham and had a really good loan period. Um, he's... He's, um, re- his game's really improved. They've done really well from down there at Chesham. Uh, he scored some goals, but uh, I, I just feel with where we're at the moment and the timing of, of what's going on that we need him back in with us. So uh, so he comes in into the, into the frame as well, into the competition to, to obviously get into the team and into the squad uh, for, this, for this busy month, as we keep saying. And him coming back as a striker, um, what's the situation with Isaac Alafay at the moment? No, he, he was having a scan at the end of last week. Yeah, all positive. Uh, he's, he's coming along really well. Um, so he's back um, in contention. I think tomorrow will probably be a little bit too soon. Uh, Ali Smith has, has been doing some training, so who obviously missed last Saturday as well. John Barden. Um, so, we, yeah, we've actually there. We've got a couple of late calls to make, um, but the squad's not looking in too bad a shape. And a little thing about it, concentrating on the Rochdale game. Slight distraction yesterday. Just just mentioned you, you went out with some of the players and met the met the public at a pizza, Papa John's Pizza place in Carshorton, which got, got very crowded and it was a, a good afternoon, a good chance to meet some supporters. Yeah, it was. Um, it's the promotion that Papa John's were doing. They were spending one day at all four semi-finalists. So Thursday was our day, I believe, they're up at Wigan today. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was the opportunity for supporters and the, the trophy was there. Um, and obviously, uh, I think Papa John's were doing a, a promotion of free pizza between three and six. So I think that was the major major pull why people were there telling me. But uh, uh, no, it was a very busy and, and, and good afternoon and uh, and it was a, a good event and good to see so many uh, supporters, uh, non-supporters, school children all coming down and and, uh, and meeting the players and myself. Yeah, it was a very, very good afternoon. And of course, the Wigan, Wigan game next Tuesday, um, you, you'll be able to turn your attention to after, after Rochdale. But I guess Papa John's game at the moment has been sort of off limits where we, we worry about Saturday's game. Uh, of course, it's a great game. It's a great tie. We're looking forward to on Tuesday, of course. But uh, the priority is, is certainly uh, tomorrow's game because uh, it's the next game um, and, and preparing right as we always do and, and looking to to get that result, which will then lead us in good spirit. See how everyone is over Sunday, Monday, uh, to then go and, and look forward to a, a big semi final with a, a Wembley Cup final at stake. Well, we look forward to it. But before that, we've got tomorrow, and we look forward to that as well. And we'll see you there. Thanks very much, Matt.